and welcome to another episode of I Have Notes, the show where people with surprisingly full IMDP pages discuss all things animation and creative. I'm your host this week, Aaron. Uh, welcome to a special pre-recorded episode. Uh, with me, I have... Hello, Cowie. Cowie. it's me, coming to you from the past and the Whoa. future simultaneously. Uh, with us today, we also have the wonderful... Josh Ornelas. Josh Yo, Ornelas. what up? It's your boy, it's Josh your boy. Ornelas. I am hey. here being recorded. Yes, hello, it is I. With us, we also have... <gasps> Whoa. The Sam Mitchell. Oh, shit, it's Whoa. me. How did, the what, Sam how did Mitchell. Get, you got Robot Josh? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the show. No, we got VTuber Josh. Love it. <laughs> one day, one like day we're going to get in a call. Too. Yeah, we're going to get in a call of Josh, and he's going to be like, oh, hey, just so you know, this is all digital. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That seems yeah. like anime. something you would do, Josh, is like replace yourself with a life accurate yeah. model of yourself. You Just... know what? If you give me enough time and like a webcam and Elite Motion Plus, I could probably do it and fool all of you. Like I real would... talk. I love it. that. <laughs> yeah. Let's just, we'll start the fun now. Um, so, yeah, like Aaron said, we are pre recording this episode. Uh, it is the Friday before the election. And this will come out the Thursday after the election. So we don't know what happened yet. Hey, on Thursday, maybe we still won't know. <laughs> um, I can but, pretty much uh, guarantee you, either way, very hungover Thursday. Yes, still yes. by Thursday. Yeah. Very it's hungover. It's going to be grand celebration or well, a lot of maybe immigration looking to go to Canada. We'll yeah, we'll which we can't yeah. even do because everybody's yeah. got the covid um speak for yourself yeah I can go that's uh, that's fair yeah i uh yeah we we get uh tuesday off to vote which i've already voted so i'm just like gotta get some day drink yeah yeah i'm yeah. taking a strong day drink i'm taking monday off so i'm getting oh. like a five day weekend <laughs> that's oh amazing yeah today that's i technically brain. had today off but i'm here recording since that's i so like sweet. hanging out with you guys oh no. so well how's uh let's start off Let's start off normal. How's everybody's How's everybody's week been? This is actually a Friday. We can actually like more say how's everybody's week. I know. Been. Aaron, Aaron, how are you doing? Uh, I mean, today was great. Previous two weeks, <laughs> uh, busy. <laughs> uh, yeah. A little show called Ruby coming out very soon. Uh, oh. So that's been kind of hectic. Uh, very exciting, but uh, very busy. Yeah, there's just a lot of a lot of last minute finishing things mm -hmm. and. Uh, there's actually a lot of the art team is already moving on to volume nine. Oh yeah. We've so, like been in the thick of volume yeah. nine for a couple of weeks now. So um, but in those last couple of weeks also then that meant you were hopping back to some volume eight stuff. To yeah, definitely. Finish a couple things. So, yeah. I'm like the it, sole uh, artist working on volume eight, just trying to finish all the the last minute things and whatnot. But yeah. it's been it's been it's been going. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad you got a little time off. Yeah. Me yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. Josh, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Uh, I'm getting a little bit increasingly busy, but that's uh, it's it's a good thing because you know we got our other show, our our red versus blue, that's going to be Whoa. coming out soon as well. Yeah, Ruby so, versus uh, Blake, my favorite. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's been busy because we're ramping up to uh, to make it look good. Uh, I'm doing like this post on it, so it's like Ooh. polishing it, checking it. Oh, there's a hair there. Lift it up, polish it over and over <laughs> again until you finally get like the final product. So it takes time, but it's worth it. So. Mm -hmm. It's it's been busy, but it's a good type of busy. Yeah. That's my. It, that's it my looks yeah. so damn good. Like, yeah. Yes, it does. I yes, watched does. the intro so many times. It's so, so fun. <laughs> it's so good. It's fun. Unreal Sam. is definitely a very fucking cool engine to be working. It with. is. Um, it really is. Would you say it's shit. unreal? You hey. shit. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I haven't been up to shit. I've been. My week has been fine. I just I sit here and do my job. Well, I stand here now. I was gonna say. Tell you. <laughs> I got a bad back and like I went to the doctor. Here's the new type five for this week. I went to the doctor yeah. a while ago. You know, um, I was like, yeah, everything hurts and I don't think I'm that out of shape. And she was like, you're wrong, but it's not actually your back <laughs> that's bad. And then like, keep on. This is it, I. The older I get, the more I hate going to the doctor because of the chances yep. of like having bad news. Really well, bad news, yes, and also. There's nothing wrong with it technically, but 
when you get a young doctor and you're older than the doctor, oh, no. it's a new thing, right? It's a new mm-hmm. thing. So this last one, I had this, I mean, I'm guessing 28 year old. And not that it necessarily factors into the story, but she's a quite attractive woman. Sure. And then she's like, it's not your back. You actually just have a very weak ass. And I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, God, no. Uh. It's like that King of the Hill episode. So, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Bill, you have no she, ass. Yeah. Oh, she was no. just like, yeah, your your back your back is compensating for like all the like really high upper thighs, like the gluteus and shit like that. And like, so now your back hurts more. So you need to do like squats and leg stretches and shit. Mm. I was like, okay. So now I'm standing at my desk. But yeah. Sam, we continue to be exactly the same because my ass <laughs> is also not doing enough. Yeah, um, yeah. I have like a bunch of stretches club. I start doing. Yeah. Yeah, they give you the band and you got to do this thing with your legs. Yeah, dog. Yeah, we're there. We're there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have yep. to do stretches before bed because I get really bad, like restless legs. Uh, it's like mm. painful and it's only one leg. Uh, it's like a nightly occurrence. So I have to like stretch and then go to sleep. It's. it's I've been doing my fuck and I'm doing it right now. So I'm doing a terrible job, but I keep sitting with like one of my legs under my under your other leg under my butt oh uh, yep back yep and uh it's like hurting like under my knee um so i got this like foot rest thing for under my desk so i can remember like put your feet yeah. here stop being fucking stupid <laughs> carrie uh and yeah. it doesn't it doesn't it i doesn't. constantly do like my right leg under and i mm-hmm. feel like that has given me a weird because it like makes you sit kind of like lopsided yeah it's like i got like a weird like hip dysplasia spine thing going on so yeah it's all bad like don't get old is the point of this conversation it sucks yeah just a certain point (laughs) just you know there's other options no one time i uh i very briefly thank you josh uh i very briefly had like a i was trying like a personal trainer thing uh clearly not keeping that up um but uh like i lay down on my back and she looked at my feet and like one of my legs was like two inches longer oh weird than the other because it was all like jammed wow. up in there so she just like pulled it and it like oh like it like went out longer again and i was like the fuck did you get a satisfying pop or anything no Any cracks? i want <laughs> i want to go to a chiropractor so bad but I i'm started, also afraid that like once i start you won't be able to i'll like have stop. to yeah. go yeah, I've started it's like watching like your body. Yeah, I've watched like compilations of like doctors like cracking people. Oh man. It's all over like, TikTok. It's mm-hmm. uh, YouTube too. It's everywhere. It's yeah. quite satisfying and it makes me want to go. Yeah. Like that's like the best form of advertisement for them. <laughs> They've even got like I've seen so many videos where they like they'll put like a law of microphone like where they're about to crack, like they yeah. know what's about to pop so mm-hmm. they can get like really good audio on yeah. it. I'm just like, holy shit, okay. Uh, if anybody yeah. wants to crack my back uh, and make a video out of it, I'll do it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I I've like I used to like crack my back by just like sitting back on a chair, and then I realized that's probably not a the best idea. Mm-hmm. The very best idea. Aaron, do you ever have to do like stretches for like your wrists and stuff? Sometimes. Um, I recently got like a little wrist pad thing oh. for like my keyboard and my mouse. Um, Why is it not an anime butt? Listen, they, I just there's so many options out there. I couldn't choose. Yeah. Um, no, but uh, before I got these, like I was definitely having a lot of wrist pains, mostly just from like resting my wrists like on my desktop. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, there's a, a few stretches like pushing your hand backwards. I guess mm-hmm. um, that definitely helps. Ooh, it's doing it right That's now. Pops. <laughs> no, it's not popping, but I can feel it like stretching. Um, yeah, I, I think that it's one really, I get like wrist pains the most. Um, everybody stretch. Uh, uh, stretch. Stretching if you're, if you're listening, stretch. Remember to stretch. Uh, yeah. uh, mm. You're also like, what the fuck? Your fingers are going so far. But this is like my maximum right here. Like, what? Really? Bastards, really? As fuck. I don't even yeah, have like, like, I'm not even like, um, what is you it? You got a pull. Paper? Yeah. You got a push. What the fuck? Like, that means you're a stiff old man. Yeah, you got yes. To be fair, you're basically a corpse like, right now. This one's broken. It doesn't even do like the normal bend. Like, oh that's gosh. the max of what? it goes. But wow, I, I blew up the the joint in the socket Ooh. like ages ago and had to. Oh, so it's like hardly a finger. Um, but yeah, it, that seems insane. Like, no, I'm like, like you just kind of curve your back knuckle 
feels it gets a little bit more but that still hurts like fucking hell what are you doing to yourself <laughs> yeah i mean it, it definitely does not feel good to go like yeah that, it's not like that yeah i i feel like i've been pretty lucky with never getting any sort of like you know hand or wrist like oh god ailments. that's like Same. my because, one like, I've been my one fear the computer so much yeah like i used to like it's like i don't even have the like mlg callus anymore i used to have that for like years. <laughs> so fucking how will people game, know right? you're a, a true gamer though yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> right like you can't even get on a team if you don't have the callus. so it's yeah it, i don't even have that shit anymore and so pretty lucky i guess yeah that's like yeah because like now I, I like i went for a period of time for a couple years like probably 2017 2019 like i wasn't actually at my computer a ton like because i was in mm. meetings and all the shit oh, and yeah. now yeah that mm-hmm. makes sense mm-hmm. and now i'm like yeah in front of it all day i'm I, I was gonna go this morning and now i'm gonna go next week to uh get new glasses that have like the blue light filter in it so i can like yeah, yeah. yeah. Very not good. once again feel terrible absolute wild shit i have my eye appointment scheduled for <laughs> next week on wednesday Oh my god. No, Are y'all, Thursday, I think. What if y'all end up We're going the to the same, same eye doctor? People. Is it is it like well, don't is right Kirby Lane? Don't, yeah. <laughs> no. No, uh, no. Okay. Nah. Nah. Okay. okay. No. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> it is pretty cute though. My uh uh the optometrist I go to, uh somebody from work recommended them and a couple other people go there and like the optometrist like watches Ruby. Oh, that's adorable. And like knows it now. I'm just like, "Oh, that's sweet." I like forgotten she was like, "Oh, I I need to finish the last couple episodes of this last season." I was like, you watch it? I forgot. I didn't know that. Oh, Nani? Um, <laughs> so, uh, hopefully, like, yeah, like I was saying earlier, hopefully we're not all feeling miserable right now. Um, but if you are and you haven't seen it yet, um, I don't know if y'all, how many of y'all saw it, but there's a new, the new KDA music video came yes, out. Yes. I have mm. watched it uh, more times than I'm willing to admit. Really? Probably, probably watched it on loop. It's, it's I, very I'm not, good. <laughs> I'm not a league fan by any means. Um, nope. But K- same. KDA slaps in this new song. Very good. It is very good. I th- it had a lot to, to live up to. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it, it's always tough. Like, you know, that, that first one, like it just came out of nowhere. So good. Yeah. Um, but I, th- I thought it was really good. I, I don't know if uh, Josh or Sam, if y'all saw it. Um, it's but very pretty. Very it's, colorful. Mm-hmm. Very, very good it, looking. Yeah. It's surprising. I'm always surprised by like the things that Riot does to like build around that world. And like I think what the first KDA thing must have been like three years ago, right? It was a while ago. It was, three, yeah. Yeah. When yeah. You- was it? And the fact that they kind of just like have rode that train and done this like K-pop band thing for a while mm-hmm. now, like it's a really cool concept. It's just I. I find it kind of like I just don't want to support Riot, like <laughs> company. No, I can't say that. For me, this whole year has been like, where do I put my money and what do I just support? Like, matters more just because mm-hmm. I'm trying to like not, I don't know, be a dirtbag. Um, so, and, by the like, way, uh, 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 two years ago, next Tuesday. So yeah, two years ago, twenty eighteen. Yeah. Yeah, twenty eighteen. Yeah, like mm. Riot's just kind of been a shit company. They've they have. Some, I've heard some not good things. Like, yeah. 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 No, <laughs> no, no companies are really great, but I've heard some not yeah. great things. No, 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 no. Um, but like, it's, you know, it's a little different when you have like all these stories about like, oh, the culture of the company is to be toxic. And you're like, mm. well, yeah. it shows in the game. So I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean, not. Yeah. I, I feel like the, the the MOBA community seems to be pretty intense. I don't play a lot, so I don't want to... I don't even think it's like... I, I don't want to generalize, the same but... thing happened to Valorant, because like, I really was enjoying Valorant for a minute, and then like once, like even before the game came out officially, like they started to open up the beta, Yeah. and the more people that came in, it was like, it went from like, oh, this game's enjoyable, and every night I've played it, I've had a good time, and then it was like, we played for like seven hours one day, and we never had a game where somebody didn't leave or like use racial slurs the whole time or like you know just complete yeah. toxic bullshit and it's just like oh cool this game's not funny anymore that was, that was a good experience um yeah I, I, I feel like it's the riot way is to be toxic and shitty i honestly yeah, just hate playing multiplayer games without exactly. a full yeah party. yeah 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 there's that and then also just like being able to turn off chat or anything like that also helps out a lot, which is like 
this is like throwback but like whenever Fortnite came out you didn't have a chat so it's just like all right you don't have to talk to anybody there's of course like the, the like the voice chat but still you can turn that off if you want to mm-hmm, yeah. and of course you don't have communication but yeah but like as far as like league and all that goes um like riot has just got this track record of having these insanely popular games especially like valorant like you were saying sam um but like it allows a lot of people to come in and play the game which is obviously what they want but um like there's the toxic middle elo which is like the people who are just good enough to think that they're good but then bad enough to not understand that they're bad or why they're bad so they get angry all the time me but like yeah. the, the toxic like, the toxic behavior yeah. comes in so much and riot doesn't do a yeah. goddamn thing about it and it's so annoying yeah because like we were like just like dying to get like at first it was like getting out of the like high silver and then like tr- never got to get out of gold and just it was just because yeah the environment and like me and my friend that mainly play together we're just in there it's like what the fuck is wrong with this like everybody's yeah. so mad like mm-hmm. so you have one bad game and they're like well you know you should have been aborted and you're like okay <laughs> Like, it's like cool. all right well jeez you can have you, you that could be a point and we can talk about that but <laughs> i don't know how you mm. i is it an age thing i don't want to start selling fucking i old, just think like, it's the online gaming community yeah now, honestly like yeah. i think it's even it's like non-competitive right. games or com- games that don't have like a competitive scene like dead by daylight even that game is like incredibly toxic um yeah like, i don't i feel know. like i i'm at the point where i would almost rather sign up and like play a game where you don't get any anonymity like i kind of think that would be dope it would be like oh yeah, yeah like yeah just give us some incentive to not be that fucking bad because if mm-hmm. anyone if you knew any of these people or ever met them in real life you would never say the fucking shit oh, that yeah, you say in no. those games and that's just the insane bit it's like you yeah it's just fucking wild like how are you saying such hateful things and just like so much fucking vitriol is just spewing through your little keyboard because somebody went 10 and 13 and you're like come on kid like shut the fuck up like it doesn't <laughs> nobody gives a shit like just play the game and stop also stop typing so fucking much like if you played the game a little bit maybe yeah. instead of just sitting there <laughs> yelling at me well no i mean i had that to do this i had that in valorant and like i have that in in overwatch because i don't i used to play a lot more oh, and like same. right now like i'll play like you know a couple games a week and it's like i'm not great that's still um, way more than me. Like, I haven't touched Overwatch in, like, two or three years now. Right. And that was, like, the only game I played for, like, a year yeah. at one point. No, same. But it's super, but, and, like, yeah, it's awful. Every game I play, whether it's me or somebody else on my team, like, somebody will be like, man, I wish the healer did something, or, like, I wish the tank did something. It's like, well, mm. I mean, why don't you just say, I like, I, yeah, we can't solve fucking... <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody being assholes, but like it's it's a like it's a problem. And, and or and Sam, I was gonna ask you like this isn't uh, this is definitely not saying like you're wrong about it. But I'm curious like what what can they do? Like what can Riot do or what, any of these companies? Because I think it's it goes beyond like Riot. Mm-hmm. Like like yeah, what, what can mean, these companies do to like not enable or not like or to I, actually I think- punish people who are assholes? You know. I think there's a lot they can do, but everything at the end of the day, like one thing I would say is like, it's not like it's hard to set up your chat to like register when you've called someone the N word. Yeah. And just be like, hmm, well, he's calling people the N word. Yeah. Fuck them. Bye. Well, like, you know, in, if Phasmophobia even, can tell like, when I say, are you, uh, give us a sign. Then, yeah. <laughs> right? like, yeah. It, it, it just even then, it's just like, okay, well, then like, put them on their own island where all those people match make together or something like that like there's ways to do but at the end of the day i think that is going to affect like their bottom line like there's a level of toxicity the overall community is willing to tolerate and that's the highest number of like paying players you're ever going to get and so they just try and ride that line and i think they do stuff but they just don't care like once the toxicity is at like 30 percent of players are just pieces of shit but everyone else is still sticking around so like i just i think they just found their level and they're fine with it and yeah you know because to them it doesn't matter like if you're a toxic piece of shit but you're also buying skins then whatever as long as you're not so toxic that dozens and hundreds of players are like leaving you know mm-hmm. no i mean that's, that's a serious point although now now you are now i am wanting to see a new reality show called toxic island it's <laughs> just like where they've gone and taken all of like the worst fortnite toxic 
players and like put them in one match yeah um, with like open comms and it's like let's just let's just see what happens as much as i'm against like that it's just because people don't sign up for the toxic shit but if you had a reality show that was like did any y'all watch the circle no i heard a lot about it but not ever saw it pretty much it's just people locked in their own little apartments the only there's like eight people and the only way they're allowed to communicate is through like a fake facebook like thing right and so they Mm. and like that's how they all communicate and then like one gets kicked out of the apartment complex at the end of it some shit but they never actually meet in person so Mm. like the the good part of the show i was like i really don't care about this like we started episode one i was like it's i don't and then like one like it's like oh yeah i'm tasha and i'm here to (laughs) teach people that you know everyone not not all girls are fake and then like some shit like yeah that's fine sure and then like there's this guy it's like this is louise she's beautiful and a model and then it shows it's like i'm nathan i'm catfishing these motherfuckers i'm like i'm in now let's fucking play like i got this right so like if you pretty much had that concept except just cyberbullying, like i'm kind of into it because like if somebody signed up for it i can get right. behind the shit talking right it's like I'm mean, what reality mean. TV show is now. Yeah, you're all signing being, up to be assholes. Like, yeah, and being mean to strangers is not fucking cool. But right, if you've ever been like seen like a room full of comedians like shit talk to each other, it's fucking hilarious, right? Like, there's a sport in it that is inherently funny, but just I, to I, do it to strangers is like fucking awful. And I think like a lot of people don't get that line, especially on online mm-hmm. games and stuff. They just think they're being funny by being mean. Mm, yeah. It's right. not the case at all. Like, you have to be in the... It's like, like Carrie, we've talked about this before. Like, our entire growing up was, like, all of our friends were just shit-talking each other. Yeah, and, and I was all about it. I still do it. I live yeah, with my yeah. high school best friend, and, like, I, like we still shit-talk each other and yeah. because we love each other. I mean, like... Yeah, you it, know it's, the well, love is there, so you can say yeah. hateful-ass shit, like, all the time, and it's fucking fine, and it's funny. So, you, yeah. yeah, like yeah well it's like there's you're saying like if you if i'm walking down the street and somebody says something something shitty to me i'm gonna get upset if i buy a front row seat to a comedy show and they make fun of my amazing hat i get it like yeah yeah i signed up for that mm-hmm. i just don't yep. want to be called the hard f word when i don't do well in overwatch <laughs> yeah um that would be cool don't call anybody that uh i don't know i Let's fix society on I have notes. I have notes about society. <laughs> yeah, not great. Really, Just don't right be now. shitty to be I have over. notes on gamers. Yeah. Gamers. 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 Hey, sit y'all down, need, gamers. Yeah, stop rising up. Y'all need to sit down for a bit. <laughs> yeah, y'all are, yeah. y'all rose up. Calm down. White enough. Yeah. Um, yeah, gamers as a whole, not really like a we're not like a targeted demographic of people. Like, we can all just kind of chill. Like, we're good. You understand we're a humongous bit of like media in the world right now. Yeah. We have plenty of uh purchasing power. Like you know mm-hmm. yeah, there's no need to rise up. Yeah, let's, at let's all. everybody chill out. Twenty twenty one. Let's let's chill out. Uh, speak um, and see how that well, maybe is. Maybe. like assholes when this episode come out and everybody knows all the results. Let's be like, yeah, oh, we are. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Um well maybe maybe the answer is to not be humans anymore uh and to mm-hmm. to to not be ourselves anymore josh you, you you found a bloomberg article is that what it was yeah it was a bloomberg uh, bloomberg i can't speak to english. Bloomberg. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. english today yeah um i think this is like spawning off the fact that we were talking about kda earlier yeah but, uh there is a a member of the new music video i'm not can't say their name uh say, they're a member of the kda seraphine, seraphine yeah I think, I think so <laughs> Yeah, Seraphine. So there's a little bit of weird controversy going on about her, but that's a whole different topic. But like, so her thing was that she spawned out of the internet ether as like a virtual influencer, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, eventually, like after some time went on, Riot was like, hey, this is actually like our new champion in our, uh, what is it, League of Legends? I sound like an old man. League of Legends, yes. Um, and then everybody's just like, oh, wow, we totally didn't see that coming. But um, <laughs> did, did Riot got, start like, her from the beginning? I, yeah, I believe so. Okay, like, I believe okay, she was okay. like, a, like, no, like they, there was nothing that tied her and Riot together until they finally came out and said that they did it. Gotcha. But, um, beyond that like she still got like this crazy massive like 413,000 follower on you know instagram Damn. and she's got like all sorts of 
little promotional things here and there. She says she's going to do some stuff here. Like, like I think she's doing like an EP of her own or something like that music wise. So, um, it's weird to see like in this world of like 2020 COVID, you know, we got quarantine going on and stuff like that, that like virtual influencers are starting to become like a bigger thing. Mm -hmm. Cause like, you know, I, I'm not going to lie. Like I watch a lot of like, uh, VTubers and stuff like that in my, my yeah. spare time. Right. Um, and it, I've kind of, it's kind of dawned on me that like, that's, it's kind of sort of this weird like paradigm that this, the world is currently going to, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, like, I don't know if you guys saw some of the like other Instagrammers in that article. Oh, yeah. I don't know where that article, but mm -hmm. they look super real. Yeah. Like I, if you didn't tell me that these people were virtual, I, you would have fooled me completely. Man, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, right. it's not a new thing. I know there's another Instagram digital influencer. I forgot her name, but she's been around for maybe a, a two or three years. Um, She's not real. Not, I know, crazy. Um, what the? But it's definitely. <laughs> it seems like this year, it's like at its peak, or it's like on the rise. We're gonna see Dude, more. This is crazy. There's like, gotta be a like... line somewhere, right? Like, I don't know. I prefer like stylized fake people. If we're gonna do that, also true. Yeah. It's funny. It also reminds me of how um, a couple years back, um, I think uh, Square Enix teamed up with, I think like Louis Vuitton or something. So they had like oh, yeah. Final Fantasy characters <laughs> modeling real clothes. And it's like, it's like, oh, it's lightning in some Prada shit. And it's like a little uncanny, <laughs> like, but it's also that, kind of though, cool. Yeah. I don't know. It's I'm so weird. I'm percent behind that shit. That yeah. Shit like, it's awesome, awesome like, but it's yeah. like, wow. Right. They also had like JoJo Gucci. Oh yeah, that's too. yeah, like, that's old, that's old news, shit. Sam. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, like they're, they're I'm all about yeah. that, but I do feel like there's a big difference between lightning or cloud or fucking Noxus. We're never imitating a real world person. That's true. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Like there, that's like the line. It's just like yeah, it would be like to have to have those things like cross over and to do fashion is like dope. But if this truly untangible like person is a model for vogue or some shit it just gets a little weird because mm -hmm. like i don't i don't know like where are you drawing like the, those that line for reality is like getting real fucky right now so yeah it's just, i don't want to be an old man and say it's like <laughs> no fake people in my magazine <laughs> like i don't i don't really give a shit it just seems like especially when this is primarily targeted at people that are like 12 to 16 mm -hmm. like i just be fucking like have a hashtag be like not a real human in every fucking post and then i'm probably i don't give a shit anymore right like mm -hmm. just yeah let them know before they start trying to emulate like because you know here in a minute they're gonna have them like standing on top of the empire state building like dangerously close to a ledge and people are like i want to take that picture and then fucking fall <laughs> off and then we have a whole thing like we've seen it a hundred times with dumb shit so yeah I mean, True. it's also just, yeah. like, even worse about, like, unrealistic beauty standards, too. I mean, like, awesome. Photoshop yeah. has yeah. been a thing forever. But, I mean, like, if, yeah, if we have all these fake models that are, are quote-unquote, perfect and have, like, bigger eyes and the perfect nose yeah. and, mm -hmm. and all this, like, it's, it's yeah, I don't know. I feel old. But yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah. Related, I feel like with oh. that, like, sorry, Erin, go ahead. Oh, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's another aspect that I don't like and I pretty sure Seraphine kind of does this too and like one mm. other digital influencer um they also like to make them less perfect they kind of like have tried to give them like uh like uh, mental illnesses like in trying to like make it quirky yeah. and relatable which is like okay. not not there cool is... and it's like okay this yeah. is a fake person whose sole purpose is to sell me something and now they're trying to make like depression trendy or something well, that's, yeah. that's like ugh. when this that's fucking like, like when this fake person has a branded Zoloff ad mm -hmm. for their yeah. mental illness like that is a level that like everyone on this side of it Seraphine mm -hmm. and Zoloff will both want that <laughs> yeah and it will probably happen if it gets to that point because those morals aren't going to be like nobody's mm -hmm. going to fucking think of that they're like well Zoloff helps people and then we'll take the money and then Zoloff is going to be like well, more people will see our product and we can help more people. But, like, the reality of it is, like, very fucked up in that mm -hmm. line, I think. Like, it's, you should yeah. never let them do that shit. Some of the stuff is getting, like, way too close to, yeah. uh, um, like, Twilight Zone or fucking Black Mirror. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't I, know. Yeah. I, I, there is, 
like as far as social media and how weird all of it's getting i, I think it's a there's a comedian i think it's michelle wolf she has a whole bit about how like you should post the attempt at the selfie like when you post the selfie it's like you know oh yeah you're looking right. cute and shit but you should be like that was shot number 63 like there were yeah. 62 right. ugly photos before this one <laughs> and i think like if you extrapolate that concept out like that would legitimately help maybe not social media but help with the like digestion of these people to be like oh wow fucking whatever kaylee jenner is always pretty it's like no nah, that was picture 148 like she didn't look that good all the goddamn time like a lot of them were weird she was blinking like i don't know like well no that's what i love about uh uh jessica negri besides she's just being a amazing yeah. human being yeah. but like yeah. she she is a you know model cosplayer uh i Voice think she actress. has like patreon only fans all that stuff she constantly she'll post like the sexy photo and then the one where she has like eight chins and, like, looking <laughs> up and, like, making a weird yeah. face like it's it's more human also like it's yeah. just as like oh cool you're a person uh thank you for that mm -hmm. um and it's like why you can have both you know like you can i don't know yeah i just and like i i am for the idea of like let's have some like interesting narratives or like you know people who maybe wouldn't who are interesting and who should be doing you know let's play podcast kind of content but they don't want to be on camera if this is a way for them to do it that's awesome um uh, and i mean i can I really know. resonate with that because i'd love to like stream more and stuff in general but i feel like a big part of it for me is like i don't a lot of times mentally feel like up to be like oh yeah i'll put my face out there mm -hmm. like I, I think being like that vtuber thing for me at least sees like i love that idea but also i feel like 95 percent of it is like leaning towards the female side of it like i don't think you see any men doing it in a significant way until josh until um, josh gets his going yeah <laughs> yeah but even yeah, then like, and then when you see it happen though they're like a fox or something and mm -hmm. you're like oh well i don't know like i yeah it's just it seems like it's a little skewed to one side not in necessarily like a bad way it just seems like that's the the angle of it is to be beautiful which i don't mm -hmm. think necessarily helps it josh yeah. you're you're probably the the closest to, like the vtuber community out of all this like how are there like any like kind of consensus of like this is how far we should go or is everybody just like let's have photo real humans doing this you know is like for the most part like the people who want to do vtubing and stuff like that like they'll go through the process of either creating like a 3d model or like live 2d model and it's generally going to be more of like a this surreal sort of nature rather than like getting closer to the real like border yeah uh because like they kind of want to like uh express themselves in a way like i'm a vampire who also likes soccer i don't know um yeah so like the people get really quirky with it and i don't see anybody ever go for like the hyper realistic mm -hmm. thing whatsoever i think like the closest i might see is like um even speaking on like the the male vtuber size like you don't see a lot of them but then there's like uh there's a guy named yashiro uh from niji sanji who's like a there's a big group of vtubers in Jap uh, jet japan called mm -hmm. niji sanji but he's like just an office worker but it's, he's just like an anime office worker and that's his whole vtuber like persona mm -hmm. um but yeah i like i you never really see them go like the, the hyper realistic route because i think that kind of breaks the point of doing the vtuber thing to begin with you know what i mean no i agree i mean like that's what i it this almost seems like this is gonna sound fucking stupid and and there's this is this is just a kind of illustrated point but it, it almost seems like the next wave of like muppets or something like that where it's like <laughs> you can you can bring a character to life in a like live manner i mean like that's what that stuff was um or is even spill but you know like yeah i i don't there's enough real people already let's make it like i'd rather it be a vampire or a quirky office worker i don't know i don't know i just sound old now i i get really scared with like how good this stuff is getting and like deep fakes are getting. Oh yeah, definitely. That like I am incredibly worried that we're we're not gonna be prepared for how easy it is gonna be to fake stuff mm -hmm. and not have the ability to like authenticate like this is my camera. You know that this is me. Um that's what I'm worried about. And I, I feel like we're just getting caught off guard. Ooh, yeah. have you seen that website called this person does not exist.com every time you refresh it no. gives you a hyper realistic 
photo of a person who just straight up does not exist. It's completely oh, like AI generated. Like I'll, I'll post this link. I like have right nightmares now. about that kind of stuff. Oh, no. It is. It is very, very, very strange. And we've mm-hmm. gotten to this point in our technology. And right. like, I don't know how I feel about this at all. I no, this like not good. Really? <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on the opposite end of the spectrum, I do quite enjoy those um, websites where you can uh, upload a photo and it'll give you like the anime version of it. Those are always yeah. fun. Like I love, I love making like waifus based off of myself because I'm an asshole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, that's fine. Yeah, okay, Josh, this website scares me. I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna look. I don't. I don't like it. I don't. I closed out of it. (laughs) I closed out of it. No, no. They like. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, at what point do do they do we stop having models? You know, like, why just 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 three D model them? True. True. What was Uh, it? uh, Like, I get it because there is some weirdness though. Here, I'll post it in the Discord so you can see. But like, cause like this person, I'm like, wow, how's that a real person? And you look to the that person is who's left. Wait, what the fuck is that like, creature like, on the left? What is oh that? Oh my god! <laughs> so like, oh some no! It's a little glitchy, but you know. Uh, what happened? Uh oh! <laughs> Something did I not know. stitch together. Right. Okay, that makes me feel better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I like seeing that one. The guy has like an eyebrow piercing almost. Like I don't think it is, but that's what uh, it yeah. looks like. Yeah. Which is quite funny. It's like this old white man I mean, with glasses. But yeah, if I was just like I, flipping through a magazine, uh, which I don't do anymore, so I don't know why I give that as an example. What is that? Yeah. I know. Uh, it's a thing that we used to do before we had phones and we were bored on the toilet. Um, <laughs> I would just, that's just like a person to me. To Except for the, yeah, the terrible creature in the corner. We should, <laughs> we should tweet that out or something. It's ter- this is terrible. That is terrible. Uh, thumbnail for this week. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> right on I'm the Glenda. <laughs> Ugh. She kind of looks like a thumb. So yeah, that, I knew, that yeah, could work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um. No, go ahead. What, what's what's uh? What do you do? We have a topic. Can we just lose topic sheet? No. Well, we got a. Uh, can we lose topic sheet? Or uh, we had one well, thing we were yeah, talk about, but we can talk about whatever. Like, what What have y'all been playing lately? Because I feel like I'm in a video game drought. I could use like a new thing to give a shit about. Do you? Do what kind of games do you like? Do you like? Indie games? Do you like shooters? What do you like? I think both of those categories. Like, shooters more accidentally. Like, I was never right. an FPS fan until, like, four or five years ago. Mm-hmm. And, like, PUBG came out, and I, like, got super into it. And then I realized I like video games that I'm good at. That's uh, fair. Yeah. <laughs> aside from that, I would say, like, pretty much, like, it's like, I'll play team-based FPSs and then indie games. Um mm. Like I've been uh I just dumped a bunch of hours into Hades. That was a fantastic fucking oh, experience. I'm I'm working still, on my first clear still. Still need to play it. Yeah. I've been yeah. Art, uh, tired. It's so good, the artist. I know. It's the art's good, the I, I love those rinse and repeat style games. And yeah. I feel like this is absolutely one of the best ones. It's like this in Dead Cells, but the thing this has going for it is that the dialogue never gets fucking stale. Like yeah. they do such a good job. I, I think of a there's a newest game that came out. I think it's called Star Renegade. That's like an RPG indie rinse and repeat thing. Mm-hmm. And um, it's fantastic. The art is very good. But I kind of burnt out on it probably after like 12, 15 hours just because the dialogue got so repetitive. Mm-hmm. In at this point in Hades, like I think I'm like five or six clears into the game. And there's still new dialogue every mm-hmm. fucking time. And it's just so refreshing yeah. to feel like okay yeah i beat the game but i still want to play it and the story's not over like you haven't really beat the game like you've done it and you could stop at your first clear and be like oh cool i had that experience dope Mm -hmm. but they really incentivize you just keep playing it like the game should be played and it's super super refreshing i hope more people give a shit about dialogue and small indie games in the way they have Mm because it incentivizes shit out of me to keep playing Mm -hmm. It, it is hands down the easiest roguelite to get into yeah, if that's not because that for a long one, time that was so that's good there you go. for me. <laughs> yeah, that was not yeah. my genre for the longest time, um, and I've I've played a couple that I liked a lot, but like that one like really hit for me. Mm-hmm. Just because, um, yeah, I think it's just because how much it incentivizes you and like the story, yeah. like you want to know, and they just they they like trickle drip all the details at just the right speed that just mm-hmm. keeps you engaged and you never get bored, like. I feel like a lot of those games have it's like okay cool you get a chunk and then you have to grind out for like 10 hours until you're strong enough to like get that next chunk and this one's just like nope 
It's just a slow drip the whole time mm-hmm. that's seemingly endless while you're having a good time playing the game. I think the it also the, doesn't like hurt because the game is really good too. It basically. is. Um, the I think the only other roguelite I've liked as much was been uh, Moonlighter or Moonlighters. I think it's Moonlighter. Really? I liked it a lot. I felt like I got to the third dungeon in that. I think. Uh huh. It just kind of fell off of it because I felt I felt like the combat was there was too strong of a meta for like one of the weapons. I can't remember what it was, but it was just mm-hmm. like I felt like the meta got boring and like I got bored of the gameplay of that game before I got bored of anything else. I get that. There's definitely like a slump somewhere in there. Yeah, like it's definitely not as good as Hades in my opinion, but it was another like because it had that. Uh, uh, it's it, it basically it's like a roguelite where you also. By by at night you're going through the dungeon and, and and getting stuff, but then by day you sell all that stuff and you have to figure out like the right prices and like what to sell to who. Um, and it was yeah. just another one where that aspect of the game made me more interested in doing like another run because it was like, well, it's not just about progressing through; it's also about then getting stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so like if I if I wasn't having a good run and I wasn't going to get to the boss, I could still be like, well, I I was able to get these items that helped a lot. Okay, cool. Let me go back and I'll you know do stuff, but um hades i've never i've never had a run that i didn't enjoy which i feel like has not been true for other roguelites i've tried have you ever played heroes of hammer watch no it's on my list actually somebody mentioned i think it was on uh uh, besties it's oh really i Uh, think they talked about it yeah yeah it's just a very good like roguelite rinse and repeat and it's the fact that it's multiplayer and it has this like old school kind of dos rpg feeling is like i played a bunch of it with a couple friends and it's very like that's that's in like my top 10 as well like it was very good um if y'all are into uh puzzle games at all i've been playing one uh i think it came out like in everything by playing on switch it's called a uh, cardo it's like cartographer mm. um oh yeah that was like a that like blew up on ios i feel like really oh that's that's good like, i mean they deserve it, was it a while ago and they were just like wow like game design in mobile games like this is like they killed it it's 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 it breaks my brain a lot you're basically the whole game is you're exploring these islands and you you get the island like tile piece by tile piece uh and you have to figure out the best way to arrange them or you move them around like for the moment like somebody one of the things was like i, I got to the first island and i was looking for this I found three sheep and I needed the fourth one. And uh, the person was like, oh, they're usually in their secret spot where uh, surrounded by these like plants. And I looked and I was trying to figure out like, how the fuck do I do this? Cause I didn't have enough tile pieces. And I realized, wow. wait, surrounded by. So I, I put these tile pieces all around a blank space um, that were all surrounded. The edges of them had this plant and then a new thing formed up. Oh, and I was like, oh, okay. It's a secret spot. It's you have to form it. like." It's it's really interesting. Um, it's got this cool story. I haven't gotten too far into it yet, but I've been liking it a lot. If uh, if you're into puzzle games, mm. not a a game mm. I've played recently, but a game I want to revisit and replay because it's been heavy on my mind recently. Uh, have you all heard of Killer Seven? Yes. Yeah. yeah. No. So, oh, Carrie, I really want you to. Oh. I want. I really want everybody to play this game. It's quite uh-huh. the experience. Um, Ooh. It's, it's from what's his face. It's the director that did like No More Heroes and yep. stuff, right? Uh, yeah, yep. one. Yeah. So I oh, okay. Yes, thank you. He's really like yeah. I love. My favorite genre of video games is weird Japanese shit. So Hell yeah. like Metal Gear Solid, <laughs> Near Automata, Nier. yeah, Killer Seven yeah. is like very much in that same vein. It is like probably the most avant-garde like video game I've ever played. It's probably still yeah. Suda Fifty One's best game. Uh, without oh, spoiling too much, um, just reading the tagline from Steam: uh, "Sneak into a world of underground assassins as Har- Herman Smith, a man manifests seven deadly personalities, the Killer Seven. Um, basically, it's a almost rail shooter. Um, mm-hmm. It's on like pseudo rails, I guess." Um, pseudo rails yeah <laughs> um <laughs> but that's um it's just uh, it's a wacky game and it's there's nothing else quite like it um there's some like horror elements some like thriller um there's like a terrorist subplot um it's Damn. like in this really aesthetically different style of like um almost like cell shaded but it's like that tasty 2004 gamecube like yeah uh, it, graphics i was gonna say 
it like was at the tail end of the GameCube's life cycle, right? Yep. yep. They. I it, remember it at the time it was to, a very weird GameCube game. Yep. Like they were just like to have something like that on the GameCube was wild. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was ported to PS2, which is not a great port, um, but it was put on Steam like two or three years ago, and there was rumors that it was going to come out on Switch, hopefully in the next year or so. Ooh. Yeah. Um, if you look up a trailer, like that's really mm-hmm. all I can like say without like giving too much away the story's like wacky um apparently like he only got like one third of the game he wanted to like oh, in wow. it. yeah okay. so there's like follow-up material like there's um like a book you can read on it it's it's crazy um i love stuff like that yeah i, I, I highly recommend it uh okay there's like some also the like they'll do like weird shit where it'll be like normal cutscenes with like the engine graphics, but then it'll switch to like anime, um, like two D animation. Ooh. Yeah, it's it's yeah. really weird. It's awesome though. One of one of my favorite games, uh, but it's very sure. hard to sell to people because it's just so out there. I mean, no, you're selling. I might just wait to see if it does come on Switch because yeah, I'm basically at the point where if I if I can play it on the Switch, I will. Mm-hmm. Um, I, there was yeah there was rumors i think um so there was a sequel to no more heroes that was like on the switch and then mm-hmm. in a recent patch they added a cutscene that uses like killer seven characters to like tie in the universes mm. um and apparently like the porter who did it for steam like got the copyright for like the switch edition or something and so people are thinking it's like gonna come out. yeah or maybe we'll get killer eight well actually there that is a, a alternative mode on the game so oh wow that's pretty cool yeah <laughs> yeah that's i highly recommend it and I, i've really been wanting to replay it recently so yeah yeah that Very seems good. like a yeah it seems like a, a fun game to to play mm-hmm. um josh i know you've been playing uh the doom uh eternal dlc right Boy, really? have I! Yeah, yeah. Um, it's uh, it's real good. It's very, very good. It's very, very hard. It is simultaneously like the best parts of Doom, like some of my favorite Doom content, like of all time. Mm-hmm. And then probably like some mechanics are like my least favorite uh, mechanics of Doom. Hmm. But uh, overall, I will say that it slaps super hard for like a good few hours of content. And the thing is, like, it's like a meaty piece of content too. Like I blasted through it. I want to say in like maybe a couple hours, but I would say I'm not like trying to make myself like, look, Oh, I'm the big bad doom guy. But like, I but think for are. like a, a normal, a normal playthrough for somebody, it might take you like a few more hours than I did, but uh, it's good. It's very, very good. And then um, now I'm just like replaying it just to learn it over and over again. So I can figure out where the dangers are because I'm going to try and do the, the, what's it called? The ultra nightmare run oh, again. Jesus. Oh yeah so it's like hardest mode one life and if you die you gotta start all over oh, and like no. that's that's the crazy thing about like i i, I have this weird like kin kinship with like speedrunners because the thing is like mm-hmm. i did the ultra nightmare run for the normal game of doom and i can get my run down to like about four and a half hours but wow. like i feel like if i die somewhere in the middle of the run i'm like it's only about four and a half hours I could start up again and just like keep going and it's gonna be even worse with this dlc because like i'm gonna die like an hour and a half in and then be like okay cool i can just start up uh over and over again and uh i don't know like i like i feel that's kind of sort of the same for like roguelikes which i really really I like because like I, this sounds like hades because <laughs> I, I do want to also get into hades and then like sam just like re-enlightened me to like oh yeah dead cells exist and i never really got to like the like the later levels of really? dead cells and i feel yeah, like those are like really it. really good games to like pick up especially like if you don't necessarily have a lot of time to like play games, because mm-hmm. like I'm busy all the time now, I can just be like, oh, let me get like one or two rounds of like Dead Cells or Hades in, you know? Yeah, H- yeah. Hades at lunch has been great. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I've also been like, Genshin Impact in at lunch. That's a good lunch game too. Yeah, because you can knock out yeah. your daily content and like, man, the, the game is. I need to do that. Can't believe that shit's fucking free. Like it, that's what I keep saying. <laughs> it it's I I just got to assume this because I'm giving them my data. Uh, but they can have it. At this I point. mean, I got, I got. No, nah, they're fine. just, they're just out here like fucking Abraham. They're just fishing for whales, man. They got nothing. Yeah. Like you don't need to give them shit. Somebody else needs to give them six thousand dollars. Which, if you look at YouTube, like that's half the Genshin Impact content. It's like I spent all the fucking money I've ever earned on points. Like <laughs> oh, you know, no. and I was like, that's yeah, how they, get you. they got them. Like yeah. I, that's that's a good ecosystem though. Like yeah. 
Be- because like, what is it? They you give most of the game for free. Um, because Mihoyo is really good about that. Because like, there's Honkai Impact Third, and yeah. then also obviously Genshin, which you'll stand at the top of a mountain of Genshin and be like, I don't understand how I didn't pay for a goddamn penny yep. for this. And then like, I think of like games like Warframe as well, where Warframe is a mm-hmm. giant game where it has a lot of things to do and they keep adding more content every year, and it's all free. Like you can pay money to like. Extra do more like get the get extra stuff you know and get things faster but at the same time you don't have to pay a single cent and like i like that sort of mentality when it comes to games especially free to play because um people usually end up responding more to in kind to a game when it mm-hmm. comes down to that um so definitely seeing like i think like i saw like lakari or something like that on stream trying to roll for one of the five stars and i think he spent like four grand or something like Jesus. that yeah yeah, and that shit happens all the time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then you got people like Cole that got their first five star in their first roll ever, and you're just like, all right, well, fuck you, Cole. You know, yeah, of course. Yeah, cool yeah no, no, no problem. I always, I'm always, I'm like a, I'm like a, a seal. I'm not like a whale. Like, I don't spend that much money on it, but I would like, <laughs> I've had a couple games I've spent like a couple hundred dollars on, like Hearthstone. Oof. Um, oh, fuck. There's another one I'm trying to remember. But like, I haven't spent any money on Genshin yet. I'm going to, I'm sure, at some point, but like, because it's I did free. Like the five dollar battle passy kind of thing where you yeah. get points. Because I was like, I'll throw in five dollars. Like I hit if I hit like I have like a rule of thumb where if I like play any free to game or free to play game and hit ten hours, I'll just throw them a few dollars just out of like yeah. respect. So, like if you if you if you give me ten hours of entertainment, the least I can do is give you like five or ten bucks, right? Once I did with so, with Among Us, like on PC, it was like ten bucks. It was or five bucks. It was cheap yeah. anyways. But I was like, I'm gonna buy all the DLC. Like. I'm I love this game. Uh, I might as well. But like with, with a game like Genshin, it's like that much content for free. I can justify paying sixty dollars on it. Yeah. Or like you know like buying sixty dollars worth of stuff because it's like I would have just paid sixty dollars for this game and I'm gonna get that much time out of it anyway. So. Yeah. But then it's after like, that where I'm like. Ugh. Yeah, I'm like at thirty hours into it, so I probably would have gladly spent like sixty bucks. But also I don't want to just because like the the in game currency seems very expensive per dollar. It does. Mm. The it thing is. that blows me away the most, though, is that how little they jam it down your throat that you can spend actual money. Like, oh, one of my friends yeah. was probably, like, 10 hours into the game, and I was like, oh, you could just buy it if you really wanted. And he was like, you can buy shit in this game? I was like, yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, they, they <laughs> really don't, like... They don't. They don't even fucking tell you. There's, like, the little plus symbol in the bottom corner when you're on the Wish menu, and it's like, yeah. you can click that and buy shit. But, like, yeah. When the, and the, I, when the game launched, too, they gave you so much stuff for free. Mm-hmm. like so much extra stuff Hungry. i was like oh yeah cool yeah. this is awesome i don't need to buy anything yeah. right now i still haven't but i've done like yeah 10 hours in or something i'm interested to see like if as games like this get more and more popular and i kind of think they will just with how the world and socioeconomics happens like poor people are getting poorer and rich people are getting richer so like have a game mm-hmm. that everyone can play and whale hunt but uh with it i kind of hope there becomes like a zero dollar spent like category kind of like how speed runs are like oh tool assisted and shit it's like mm. there should be like a i guess a badge of honor for like a lack of a better word to being like a like a zero dollar streamer or something like that or like right. just or, so, or an asterisk for because they did steroids yeah <laughs> just so even just so like if i'm looking for content on like because i've done it a few times with similar games and like genshin impact you're just like you know you look up content for it and it's some guy who's spent literally six thousand dollars and has everybody maxed out and you're just like well this isn't realistically how i play the game so could i see how like a real human would do this right um and yeah it's just yeah uh, hopefully that becomes a thing is like here here's my zero dollar badge of honor kind of thing yeah i yeah because it's like i I, i'm interested in watching a stream where somebody sends six thousand dollars because i'm not going to yeah but yeah (laughs) <laughs> I also, yeah, I mean, like, I also don't want to, like, only watch that because then I'm just going to feel sad, mm-hmm. you know, all the time. More so than usual. I'm just kidding. Uh, well, cool. I think uh, that's probably a good place to, to wrap up. I did want to mention um, when this episode comes out, we'll be just a couple days away from Ruby Volume 8's premiere. Yes. Um, if you are not, we would super appreciate it. If you became a first member, you can watch it, like, the day it comes out instead of waiting a week. Um, uh, and you support don't, us that way. Yeah, I mean that—that's a big thing. And and you know, there's a. Um, I know the the news about it being not on YouTube anymore just came out. Uh, there's a lot of information on our website of why, uh, that decision was made and why we did that. Um, one thing I want to make sure everybody understands and is super clear of. Um, 
you can still watch it on our website for free. You don't nope. even need an account. Yeah, exactly. um, we would love it if you signed up. We would love it if you're a first member. It, that's what helps the show keep getting made, um, not YouTube ad revenue. Um, but uh, if you don't want to, that is okay, and you don't you don't have to now pay to see the show. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, we appreciate your support. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully the world isn't on fire when this episode comes out. The last, uh, possibly last episode. How do y'all yeah, because <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe it'll just come out, or it won't even come out because it'll just everything will blow up. It won't. It will be fine. Know. We're gonna make it through this. We always do. Um, but yeah, uh, be kind to yourselves. Uh, be kind to other people. Don't be toxic online. And uh, have a good day. Bye, y'all. Bye, friends. <laughs>